The Bridge Entities tool can be found in the Transform tab, and it's a tool that's used to connect two or more objects by making a bridge that spans the gap between the two objects. It can also be used to separate a single object into multiple objects. In this example, my goal is to cut out ABC from the rectangle that I've drawn. To begin, I'm going to explode the letters into individual line segments. Now, the problem we run into is when this design is cut out, the interior of the A and the interior of the B will just fall out because they aren't connected to anything else in the design. In order to fix that issue, I'll use the bridge tool to connect the interiors of both letters to their surroundings. I'll draw my first bridge through the letter A, connecting the isolated window on the inside with the rectangle that surrounds it. Once I've adjusted the width under parameters, I can go ahead and set my bridge by either pressing the green check mark or beginning a new bridge somewhere else, which is what I'm doing in this case with the letter B. And you'll notice once I set my bridge down, I can click and drag to move it around if I want it in a different location. Also notice how I put my bridge straight on for the B, but I put it more of an angle for the A to keep it parallel with the line. Once I'm satisfied that the bridges have connected the interiors of the letters, I'll go ahead and press the green check mark. So now I can look at all three of my letters and I know that when my design is cut out, I won't have any sections that are isolated from the rest of the drawing that'll fall out with it. If you notice any excess lines from using the bridge tool, you can just use the trim tool and the modify tab to clean those up a little bit. I'll then use these arrows at the top of the screen to take me from CAD to CAM mode and directly generate a toolpath of my design. And then I'll move ahead to CNC mode where my G-code is created and my design is ready to be cut out. 